What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA. And before I start today's video, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever holiday you're celebrating around this time. I hope you guys have a great time, but today is not going to be a very in-depth video, not going to be some crazy stat or shit talking a team. I'm going to be talking about Christmas Day records, stats, whatever you want to call it, that honestly will most likely surprise you and some of the records I could see end up being broken this Christmas. Uh, so I'm recording a lot of videos pre-recorded because I'm going to be out with family around the holiday time. So a lot of a lot of the videos I'm going to record, I might be wearing the same shirt. It's not because I'm dirty. I'm recording it the same day, most likely. So cut me some slack. I swear I take showers. But uh, some of these stats are most points in a game on Christmas Day. Now, if you think of the names, you think like Kobe Bryant, you think LeBron James, Steph Curry would have the most points, maybe Wilt Chamberlain. No, it's Bernard King of the New York Knicks with 60 points in 1984. Gotta give the man respect. Uh, Bernard King, one of those NBA superstars that were in the past that a lot of people have forgotten about. But he's an absolute bucket. And you can see that by the fact that he has the most points ever scored in a Christmas Day game. Uh, highest career point per game. Now, a lot of the stats I'm going to do, I'm not going to do career stats unless it's something that's surprising. And this one is definitely surprising. Also, if you think you might know the answer before I say it, say it in the comments before I answer it and see if you got it right. But highest career points per game average on Christmas Day is Tracy McGrady. Now, he's only played three Christmas games. But his averages are fucking nuts. 43.3 points per game on Christmas Day. The man is an absolute bucket, a Hall of Famer for a reason. T-Mac is an absolute bucket, and you can see it by that stat. Uh, most rebounds ever in a game goes to Wilt Chamberlain with 36 rebounds in 1961. This is no surprise. Uh, obviously, if you look at, like, the most rebounds in a game on Christmas Day, it's basically just a fight for Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell because those guys were rebounding monsters. But 36 rebounds in a game in 1961 is not that bad. Uh, most assists ever in an NBA Christmas game is Tiny Archibald, which you probably haven't even heard that name or haven't heard it in a while, with 18 assists in 1972. And a lot of the other guys below him... Where Oscar Robertson, that man is an assist king, I swear. He had a lot of 16 and 17 assist games, but Tiny Archibald holds the record with 18. Uh, highest career assist per game. Now, this was one of those stats where I'm like, really? This is the man who holds the record? It's John Wall with 12.5 assists per game in two games. Now, like I said, two games. It's not like he played a lot of Christmas Day games, but the fact that he averages... 12.5 assists on Christmas is pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. Most steals ever in a game goes to Kyrie Irving with 7 steals in 2016. That amazing Cleveland Cavalier Golden State game. I believe unless I'm mixing it up with another Christmas Day game, I'm pretty sure Kyrie also hit the game winner in that game. Uh, most blocks ever in a game, which this was also surprising to me, goes to DeAndre Jordan in 2011 with 8 blocks. Now, DeAndre Jordan, obviously an amazing defensive player, gets a lot of blocks, but I was shocked to see him as the most blocks ever in a game on Christmas, DeAndre Jordan. Most losses goes to Kobe Bryant with 10 losses. Now, this stat is kind of a stupid stat because Kobe has also played the most Christmas games. So it's not surprising to see him have the most losses, especially since a lot of the teams he played with on Christmas were absolutely terrible. We know of some of the travesties of lineups Kobe has had to play with over the years on the Lakers. Uh, most threes in a game ever uh, on Christmas Day is tied with Brandon Ingram and Duncan Robinson with seven three-pointers in one game, which I was, I'm not surprised Duncan Robinson's on there, but to be tied with Brandon Ingram is surprising, to say the least. And most threes and a half goes to Duncan Robinson as well with six three-pointers. The fact that he didn't break the record and had six at halftime is very surprising to me. You only made one other three, Duncan, 
in the entire game, but started out with six. You gotta, you gotta start heating up. He could have made like 12 threes that game. Let me know what you guys think about these stats. Uh, are any of these beatable this year? I could easily see the most threes being beaten by like Stephen Curry this year or Kevin Durant. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, I make NBA videos all the time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 400. Peace.